Hello everybody, welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for choosing to be here with me today. I'm so excited to open my happy mail from you guys. A lot of it is birthday stuff. Any packages that I got, I did not open. I waited so that you could see my first reaction. So these videos are a little bit more out of my comfort zone to make. I'm a little more vulnerable, but I appreciate so much that you guys took the time to send me a card or a little gift and I wanted you to see me open it. So there's all kinds of stuff here. I am gonna do cards first and I'll do packages last. The shadow over there, you'll have to excuse that, but that's because I have the boxes and everything around me, surrounding me so I can grab them. So the first thing I want to do is to open something and I need to apologize, okay? This is from Divine Savings Co on Etsy and I recently cleaned my room or Matt cleaned our room and found this. It had fallen behind our dresser. So I feel so bad, but I'm guessing if this is was still in my bedroom that it didn't get on a video, that I never opened it on a video because had I opened it on a video, it wouldn't be back upstairs in my room where sometimes we put the mail when it comes in because our mailbox is right outside our bedroom door. Anyway, so super big apologies to Divine Savings Co. if they're watching, but I thought this was so sweet. They sent this back in August. I'm not gonna turn over the envelope, but the date is the end of August, so I feel terrible. But this is Crystal, and she sent me all this cute stuff, stickers, and an IOU slip that's laminated, more stickers, and then some really cute challenges. It was in this beautiful little bag. Where are my noodles? I think that's so unique and original. And then there are some other, this one's laminated. And here are some other printable ones where you can roll dice or you can just color them in. There's an envelope here and a laminated balance sheet thing. And, a, and oh, an L for L book. So that was so nice. So thank you so much to Crystal at Divine Savings Co. And her shop will be in the description box along with Anybody else that sent me something that I opened in this video today, if they have a shop or channel or website, it will be in the description box and I'll try to put it in the order that I opened it to make it easier for you guys. So the next thing I'm going to show you and some of this, some of these things I already opened because I had to determine if I needed to put them in this video or if I needed to pre-read pre the letters, not the packages, but the letters. So anyway. I just took a lot of the envelopes away so that I wouldn't have to worry about hiding the addresses. But this is from Tess and this is so sweet. She sent it, Save with Tess is her shop name, but all her info will be linked. This is a $50 challenge. I didn't take it out of the little plastic bag yet, but I thought that was so sweet that she thought of me. And it also, it says my name on here and it says one scratcher is your birth month number and one scratcher is your birth day number. So I thought that was so sweet. I'm definitely going to do this on my channel this year. Thank you so much to Tess and let's move along. The next one is a card from my friend EE. E. She's one of my buddies. You guys know she sends me mail all the time, but she sent me this sweet little birthday card. So that was so awesome and... Then moving on, I'm going to try to go quickly because I have a lot of stuff. I love this card. And of course, and it's it got crunched and folded because my P.O. box is so small. And so they like to just shove stuff in even when it doesn't fit. But it says, don't be afraid to flourish. And it's so pretty. So anyway, um, I ha actually haven't really looked at this yet. I just took it out of the envelope. But it says, thank you for all your content. I love your bubbly personality. May you accomplish your goals. May your wallets be full and may your heart be happy. Happy New Year, McKay at Collective Echo. So Collective Echo must be the name of her shop. And there's a 30 day walking challenge that's laminated and a sticker that says follow your dreams. A little scrunchy sticker, which is adorable. There are coin wrappers, which I thought was so unique. And then, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I think, yes, it's a sticker, but it's this, I'm going to put it up, up really close. It's this puffy $20 bill. It's like a puffy sticker. It reminds me of back in like the 80s and 90s when we would collect, I would collect puffy stickers. So anyway, so McKay must have a shop called Collective 
Echo. So I will have that link so you can check it out. So thank you to McKay for sending that to me. I love it when you guys send me mail and then I can find out about your shops. The next one is from my friend, Elizabeth Rausch. Okay, tell me if I pronounce it right this time. So she sent me this birthday card and you guys, I have to show you the envelope. I see this in the mail and I see the sloth on the envelope and I freaked out. It is so cute. Look at that envelope. And then it's a birthday card with a sloth on it. So I don't know where you guys find stuff like this, but oh my goodness, I loved it. And it was so special. So thank you so much to Liz. Um, I love knowing you and being friends with you and you're such a sweet person and a big support for my channel and shop. So thank you so much. And then I got this big, beautiful card from Susan and Susan is from Windmill Ridge Budgets. I'm pretty sure she has a shop and a channel. I'll have to double check on the channel, but I'm pretty sure it's hard for me to remember a bunch of details in this while I'm filming this type of video. So you guys will have to forgive me, but um, she sent me a really nice card and said she loved my enthusiasm and energy hearing about my family. I inspired her to create her own challenges, revamp her YouTube, okay, revamp her YouTube and start an Etsy shop. So I thought that was so sweet of her. I lo look at the sticker. I love it. Um, I have not opened this yet. I wanted to wait and open it on camera. I just got the sticker ready because sometimes the stickers can be hard to open. So let me go ahead and take this out and let's see what is in here. So there are two savings chat. Let's see. Nope. Oh, there's way more. Okay. So there's this really cute one called Start Your Engines. And actually, at some point, I'm going to be doing a, a savings challenge binder to save money for car maintenance. So this will be perfect. So let's see. It's This is $80. And this little one is that's A6 is $50. So I love that they're different amounts. And then it says, Mindfully Managing Family Food and Finances. So that's her slogan. And then there's a mystery word savings challenge. And that's for $525. And then this one is for $735. So all kinds of ways to save. I don't think I've ever seen a sloth in a snow globe. That is so cute. And then there's a little dog that looks like Ranger. Oh, another one that looks like Ranger. I guess that one looks more like him. Okay. Oh my goodness. I have never seen these two stickers before. That is so cute. The sloth is inside the suitcase. Okay. This just made my day. Thank you so much, Susan. So go ahead and check out Susan's channel and her shop. They'll be linked in the description box. And of course, there's a super cute paper clip. I appreciate all the things. So thank you so much. And then... The next thing I'm going to show you, I got this beautiful purple bubble mailer or photo mailer. And this is from my friend Robin, Robin Voke. And she sent me some challenges. So let's open the card. It's a beautiful card. It matches. Everything matches. And there's a rose gold cross paper clip, which I love. I do not have a cross paper clip and I love it. And then there are a couple other ones and it's um, and she says, Lizzie, happy 2024 to you and your family. I love watching your videos and playing your challenges. So I want to return the fun. I had so much fun making these, not so much fun setting up my Etsy shop, my new Etsy shop. Yes. I didn't have fun opening mine either. She said, ha ha. Hope you enjoy them. Love Robin. So Robin sent this to me. You guys know Robin, Robin Voke. She changed her channel name and opened an Etsy shop. I had mentioned this on my channel before already, but Robin's documented life. So she printed these challenges for me. I love how she put a black background on a spring one. I never would have thought to do that, but it totally works and makes all these pastel colors pop. I love that. And then there's a rainy day savings and sweet magnolias. And there's a, a dashboard for it. So thank you so much, Robin. Please check out her channel and her shop. Her shop is awesome. She already has a bunch of stuff in there and I look forward to doing her challenges. So thank you so much, Robin, for sending that to me. And I'll tell you guys, I don't remember when I did the last bonus video where I was opening happy mail. I think it was three weeks ago. So I have a lot of stuff that I've received in three weeks, but if you sent it and I received it just after I filmed the last video, that means that 
It's been a long time since I received it. And I'm sorry that you're just seeing this video now, but that's the way it's life's worked out. I have so many different types of videos I like to do that I'm not able to do a happy mail, a just happy mail video very often. So anyway, let me go ahead. The next few packages, the next few things are packages and I'm going to open them in the order I received them. So this first one is from a subscriber, Ivy Hassan, and I, I covered up her address, but I, th I either have one Ivy that's followed me for a really long time or two. So I'm not sure which one or if there's two different name, last names. I don't know. But anyway, Ivy sent me something. And you guys, I did open this already. I'll be honest. It was one of those days I just needed to pick me up. I went to the P.O. box. This was the only thing in there. I opened it and I freaked out. And as soon as I peeked in, I immediately shoved it back in and didn't look because... I was so excited that I wanted her to see me actually open it on camera. So anyway, oh my goodness, you guys. I didn't even read, I didn't read the note or anything. I literally saw a little bit of a sloth on a pouch and I freaked out and put it all away. But look at this. It says, sloth a corn, slowly magical. I can't even tell you how obsessed I already am with this. I love the colors. I love the teal, the pink. It's like my channel colors. It has a sloth on there and... I love pouches. It's so shiny. And I'm actually going to be doing a rainbow binder. So I was thinking this would be absolutely perfect to use when I do the rainbow binder, as well as using it before then for other things. But I don't know what it is, but I am obsessed with this pouch. So Ivy, you know me and thank you so much. You did not have to do that, but I truly appreciate it. I hope it's okay if I open this on camera. Um, she saw this and immediately thought of me, loves watching my videos. She says, remember, if no one says I love you today, let me be the first to say I love you and hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, that was, she is so, so sweet. I mean, who gets, who gets a note that says something like that? So anyway, I just, I have the best, best, best subscribers on my channel and I'm just so grateful for you guys. But Ivy, this is one of my favorite things I received in a long time. I just, I can't even tell you how much I love it. Okay. I need to move on or I'm going to just keep talking about it. So <laughs> thank you so much, Ivy. And the next thing I received was this candle and it says, I wish you lived next door. So it came from Amazon and there was no note with it. There was no, what's it called? Um, gift, gift note or gift message or whatever. So I'm like, who sent this to me and didn't want me to know it was from them? So it was driving me crazy. And I was like, that's cool. It's purple. I opened it up and smelled it. And what's funny is that it smells like, I don't know if it's lilac or lavender, but when I was growing up, I absolutely hated this scent. And in the past two years, I've become obsessed with this scent. It's like my, my new favorite scent. I've just like grown a whatever for it. So anyway... I love this candle so much. I don't even want to burn it, but it was driving me crazy that I didn't know who it was from. So I wondered if maybe it was from Kendra, but then I said, she wouldn't say where she lived next door because she practically lives next door, just down the, the street. So I was like, it must be someone who lives far away. So it was a whole thing. I had no idea. Okay. So then I, let me put that aside. Then I get a big Amazon box a few days later and inside there's a gift note in this box. So all I did was slip the top right before this video. I didn't open it. And this says, the note says, happy early birthday. I hope the mug isn't too small. And the candle says it all. Hope it doesn't smell disgusting. <laughs> okay, that made me laugh so hard. Love you friend from Wendy, the thrifty sewist. So as soon as I saw the message in the, in the bigger box, I said, oh, okay, this is, Wendy got me two gifts, so I'm not going to open this one until I'm on camera, but I had already opened this. So that solved the mystery of who the candle was from. And she wish, wishes she lived next door to me. And boy, do I wish I lived next door to her. I love Wendy, you guys. I love her channel. I love her shop. And I love her candidness. Just hope it doesn't smell gross. She just cracks me up. I laughed so hard when I read this. And then I said, well, I know there's a mug inside now, so I wonder what it is. So now I get to finally open it with you guys. So I am excited about that. So Wendy, I was not expecting 
anything from you for my birthday. So that was a huge surprise. I didn't even know you knew it was my birthday. So thank you so much. And I'm sorry that I haven't filmed this for so long because I know you sent this stuff a while ago. Oh, it is a sloth. Oh, you guys. It's a, okay. I love how there's like this yellow on it. I've never had a mug like this. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. This will be a good, um, it's funny. I was actually looking for a mug earlier this morning when I filmed my, what video did I film? I filmed my video where I started, the last video where I started Rox's book. And I was looking for a mug because all of my mugs are themed. And I was like, I just need a generic mug. So this is super cute. You'll definitely be seeing this on videos soon. Thank you so much, Wendy. You are so sweet. I love you so much. And that was really nice of you. And I love that Amazon sent these separately and didn't tell you and that I didn't know who this was from because that was kind of fun too. So anyway, thank you so much. So the next thing I got in the mail was this package here. So I'm going to pull everything out of it. I have not opened it or even looked inside yet. I just cut the bubble mailer right before this video. So I don't even know who it's from, but I want to throw the package on the floor so that we don't, oh, the craft bin. Okay, so this is from Dawn. Oh, she did tell me she was sending me something a long time ago. Ooh, what is in here? Okay, so it's funny because this came in the mail and I saw it was from Dawn a while ago. And Matt said, what did you order? Because it came to the house. And I said, I don't think I ordered anything. I think she said she was sending me happy mail. So let's see, there's a, oh, this is a really long, she says okay to read. So I didn't close it right away, but there's a really long sweet note and I'll just sum it up for you guys. And I'll read it again off camera to myself, but she says, Here's a big thank you for everything I've done for her. She wanted to show her appreciation and she knows so I'm sending you a couple of things I have made. Okay, and now there's a dart helicopter landing practically in my backyard. So if you hear that noise, that's what it is. Okay, maybe I'll just pause and Matt can fast forward. Never mind, it's gonna be a while. Okay. I know you like sloths, sloths. It's hard to say that word sometimes. So here's a coaster slash dish for you to use however you would like. And here's some scratch offs. Um, I know Ranger and Diego were re are rescue dogs. I included a tracker I used to help one of my local shelters with supplies or by waiving an adoption fee. I have a rescue dog named Dixie. Aw, and I thought you, Maybe you could use it as another save to give to help another animal in need, but you can use it however you want. Um, anyway, it's from Dawn at the Craft Bin. That's her Etsy shop and her daughter's YouTube. Okay, so her daughter has a YouTube channel called Liz Budgets 23. So I will link all this in the description box, but let's check out what she sent. Okay, awesome. So this must be the challenge. It's called Shelter. That is such a good idea to actually use a challenge like that to save for um rescue animals or things like that so there's a dashboard oh and there's two super cute scratch offs on top of spaghetti and something's afoot oh you guys i could have used i could have used this in my true crime maybe i still can i mean i know i have a bunch of challenges going already but how cute is that oh my gosh i love these thank you so much dawn all right let's get into this you told me it was a sloth dish now i'm curious you guys are so, so good to me. I do not deserve any of this. We all just help each other out. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put it up close for you guys to see, but it's like, it's kind of like ceramic, kind of like those pots you would get to put outside that are like that terracotta color. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is the perfect size to put in dice and things on my videos, like in the corner of my screen. I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much, Dawn. You are so sweet. Please check out her shop and her daughter's YouTube channel. Looks like her daughter and I share the same name. I have three packages left. They're all big. And again, I'm just going to open them in the order I received them. On my birthday, when I woke up in the morning, the very first thing I did was look at my phone and I had a text from Tracy and I thought it was just going to say happy birthday, but it didn't. It was a text from Tracy and it said that she sent me a sugar wish. I did not know what that was, but now I do. And it's my new favorite thing. So 
she went on this site called Sugar Wish and sent me a link where I got to pick out four of my favorite candy or four cookies or something like that. And I just had to pick it out. It was free. It was already paid for to ship. I think she paid for expedited shipping. And you guys, it just made, I just woke up to it and it just made my day that I've never seen this and I already love it. So anyway, so if Sugar Wish wants to sponsor me, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so then it came like, I swear it was like two days later in this box. This box is beautiful. I will save this box forever. Maybe I'll put a challenge, make a challenge in it. I don't know. But this is just, just everything about this. Tracy just seriously made my day. So there's birthday candles there. It says, happy birthday, my friend. I hope your day is as amazing as you are, Tracy. So right? It says it was packed on January 18th. That's my birthday because yes, I placed my order immediately. And I think it literally came two days later. So if you want to see what's in here, I'm glad they have pictures on the boxes because two of these are gone. So the first one I ate was this one and it's called iced chocolate peppermint. So I can't show you because I ate it. This is iced buttercream cookie. And then I got two I love butterscotch. And so I got two of these. Oh, it says wish granted on the bottom. So I, I can show you these. I haven't eaten these yet because Matt surprised me and made me a ton of butterscotch cookies, but the kids have been eating them. They're almost gone. So I'm kind of saving these or savoring them, whatever. So let's take a look at what it looks like though. But the two cookies I did eat were absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. This was such a cool gift. Look how thick that is. Anyway. I wish you could have seen what the other ones actually look like, but this was an awesome gift. Thank you so much, Tracy. And okay, this is really noisy. So I'm just going to put it aside and I'll pack it back up later. Okay. And then you guys, I am so overwhelmed by all of these gifts. This is crazy. Okay. So then the next one I got is, let's see. Let me just check. One second. And okay. This is the next one I got. This came from Amazon, I believe, and it came to Busy Lizzie's budget, but it came to my house address. I'm pretty sure I know who this is from, but we can see if there's a gift note. I will say if it's who I think it was from, I never in a million years expected the person who's living in another country to send me a birthday gift and she shouldn't have. So let's see. Yes, there is a note. It says, happy birthday, my dear Lizzie. I hope you'll enjoy this little gift. It made me think of you and Matt. Hugs. Love from Rox Budgets. So Rox sent me a gift all the way from Romania, which was so sweet. And looks like she paid to gift wrap it or something. I have no idea what it is, but let's, let's open it up. It, and it was so hard because this came a while ago, but I said, nope, I'm not even opening the, the outer box until right before I film the video, which is hard for me because you guys know I get excited when I get mail. But anyway, so let's see what is in here. It's something that made her think of me and Matt. I have absolutely no clue what this is. And now that I see the shape of it, I'm just super intrigued. So let's see what is in here. Now I'm really intrigued okay so I'm not going to read what it says on the bottom because I think it's printed whatever's in here but it says YFN Jewelers okay this is really interesting I would never in a million years guess what this is because she said it made her think of me and Matt so oh this is so suspenseful oh my goodness what is it okay sometimes I don't know. Let me, this is the cutest little bag. Oh my goodness. Look how cute this is. Okay. Let's see what this is. Huh? Oh, I think they packaged it so that it wouldn't. Oh my goodness. I think they packaged it this way so that the chain wouldn't get, the chain wouldn't get, um, tangled. I think. Okay. So it's one thing in here. Oh my goodness. It's an adjustable bracelet. And it has rose gold on here and silver. Oh my goodness. This is so, oh, I love it. Wait a second. Wait a second, you guys. I think they're sloths. Oh my goodness. Okay, I really do need reading glasses, but I, I don't have them yet. But, oh my gosh, I'm putting them, I think they're sloths. 
This is so unique and special. Okay, sorry, I'm acting like I'm just here alone. Let me hold it up for you guys um, so that you can see. Oh my goodness. Try, trying to think of the best, okay, let me, hopefully it's focusing, it might be crooked or something, but there's rose gold and silver, and it looks like Matt and I hugging, but there's sloths, and it's on a heart and a bracelet. Okay, rocks, <laughs> thank you so much. This is so, so special and so, oh my goodness, it's just so thoughtful on so many levels. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I still can't even believe this. Okay. I've got to, I got to keep going. I don't want you guys to watch forever, but Rox, thank you so much. And yes, I never in a million years would have guessed what that was. Wow. It's so neat how I just made such close friends with so many of you in this community. And it's like, excuse me. <coughs> it's, it's like I have this whole new family, but a family that I talk to and associate with and understand even more than my, you know, physical family that I live with and or extended family, whatever. I think you guys know what I mean, but it just, it just, it, I don't know. It's so, it's so hard. It's just so, so cool. Okay. There's one more gift. I saved the best for last, my Lisa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I love Lisa. And Lisa sent, told me she was sending me a gift. So I think this is from her. And oh yeah, I covered up I covered up the name, but it came from a website, I'm not sure where, but she sent me something that she said she thought I would like. So what in the world is this? Huh. Anybody have any guesses? Something kind of wooden or plasticky? I don't know. Let me see. Let me open it and we will take a look. Oh my gosh. I Is that a dice tower? I think it's a dice tower. I have always wanted one. Look, there's like there's like a spiral staircase, which is so cool because I have a spiral staircase in my house that comes down to my office. Let me, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very unique. Oh my goodness. We need to try it out. It's nice and small too, so that I can have it in my videos. I hate shaking dice on camera and this is perfect. Oh my goodness. I love it. Let me get some dice. I'll be right back. You guys, it matches my dice bag, which is also green. Okay, this is so cool. Lisa, you are so thoughtful. Thank you so much. She's one of my subscribers I've become very close friends with. So let's see. I'm going to try just a six-sided die. Oh, yeah, it definitely has no trouble coming out. <laughs> wow. I'm going to see if it will do a bigger one. This is like a 20-sided. You guys, not only does it come out, look how fast that goes. And it doesn't get stuck on the stairs, just shoots right down. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have so much fun playing with this. Okay, you guys may never see my, my sloth tray again because this is so much fun. I want to keep going, but I don't want the noise to bother you guys. So I'll stop. But Lisa, thank you so much. This is like the coolest thing ever. I feel like a little kid who just got a toy. Oh my goodness. Well... That was a fun way to end the video. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you to those who are watching, who watch my videos, watch the ads, like like my videos, leave a comment. It truly helps me out. And you guys, I just am overwhelmed with everything I just opened. You guys are just so good to me. And I'm so grateful and appreciative for every single one of you. So many of you even just sent me a message a digital message and wish me a happy birthday and that meant just as much to me you guys are just so awesome and i guess i'll go ahead and end the video here and i will see you monday for a puppy a puppy binder stuffing i hope you all have a great weekend thanks again to everyone i love you all bye